Due to some of the things associated with the disorder, uh, namely mind blindness, alexithymia, some executive function deficits, central coherence deficit, etc. The guy basically lives in a world that's very unpredictable to him. That's why there's always anxiety associated with autism spectrum disorder, because he is literally unable to predict most things, and that's very stressful. And that's why he also wants a high level of structure, predictability, doesn't like change. That's also why he is very sensitive to anything that could download as criticism to him. And some of the ladies in here, you've said some things that you thought were pretty much neutral, but you still may have downloaded it as criticism. And oftentimes this comes from growing up, knowing that something is not quite right with me. Uh, maybe he was ostracized from his peer group, teased, bullied, uh, problem child at school, and so on. And so self-esteem is very low. So now we fast forward to where he's an adult and he's married, and some of her attempts to get him to connect uh, remind him of some past experiences where he has been criticized and told what to do, always been told what he's doing wrong or what he's saying wrong or things that he's supposed to say and do, and, and he doesn't. And so he's been in, in many cases, it may not be the case with any guys in here, but in many cases, he's been in trouble with somebody to one degree or another his entire life, and he's tired of it. He's tired of being told how he's falling short. He already feels bad enough about himself. He already knows that something's not quite right. His self-esteem is already shot. His anxiety is already through the roof. And so what that guy needs, and I'm finally getting to the point here, more than anything, he feels like he's not appreciated. And he often will say things like, it doesn't matter what I say or do, it's never enough. I've tried, it's, I always fall short. And so with, with the guy, what he wants more than anything, and what he found in the early going of the relationship, he wants to be appreciated. He doesn't feel appreciated, and he values that. And when he first hooked up with you, the NT wife in this case, Whatever you said or did, it conveyed appreciation to him and that he valued that. And that's why, probably why he stuck around, quite honestly. But as his special interest, which was you in the early going of the relationship, as his special interest changed over the years, he kind of drifted away. Then the NT wife tries to pull him back in. But her method, unfortunately, raises his anxiety and he wants to distance himself even more. And as he does that he loses what little bit of appreciation that he was getting from her. Or he might have been getting a lot of appreciation from her in the beginning, but as he distances him, himself, he gets less and less appreciation. That's what's going on with him. With her, in the early going of the relationship, what she wanted more than anything, of course she wants to be appreciated, but what she wants more than that is intimacy. That was her big deal. And when she first hooked up with him, she got a lot of intimacy because she was his special interest in the early going of the relationship. But again, as the couple drifted apart, she got less and less intimacy. And her motives were well intended when she was trying to get him to, to continue to give her intimacy when it was waning. He, as I mentioned earlier, became more distant. She got less and less intimacy. And so that's kind of where we're at today, where he feels underappreciated. She feels like she's not getting any intimacy. What he fears most is being criticized. What she fears most is being neglected. He's feeling like he's being criticized all the time. She feels rejected and abandoned. And what he wants more than anything to pull him back in to the relationship is to feel appreciated. And what she wants more than anything in order to pull her back in to the relationship is to reestablish a bond, reestablish trust. She doesn't want to play second fiddle to his special interest or his job, and so on. 